These freshly cut banana stems will be drained of water and other materials to extract the fiber, which is then used to make the sanitary parts. This process can either be manual or by machines. The banana fiber that from here, if this small, small particles are still there, you have to dip it in water so that these small particles are out to come up with a, a, a clean fiber. From here, the fine fiber materials are measured and dipped in water. From our extracted banana fiber, after drying, it is like this. So you have to make sure that you cut very, very tiny, tiny particles. Afterwards, recommendable grams of sodium hydroxide or hash are added to the tiny fiber materials to soften the material. Then, white recycled papers are soaked and pounded. This is added to create the bright colors. It's already started boiling. Your time for two hours. The heated mixture is then powered into a drum of water. Afterwards, casting nets are then dipped in the water to extract the paper pulp, which is dried for about two hours. After the paper has been dried, it is carefully plucked and softened using this machine. It is this soft paper which is mixed with other materials, including cotton wool, to make the sanitary towel. In these processes, hygiene is key, like it is with any health product. This training is supposed to contribute to menstrual hygiene management. But the key thing is, as we produce, we must keep in mind that they must be safe and hygienic for use. In many cases, these stems could have been left to rot in the garden. But when this project picks up, they could as well become an important element of life at home. The parts can easily decompose. The pilot project is implemented by the Ministry of Water and Environment through the appropriate technology center for water and environment with funding from UNICEF. If this is taken up, it can help the girl child to enhance or to stay in school and benefit more from the learning experience. Most of the people who attended a five-day training last week on how to make the sanitary pads are teachers. So every person who is interested in learning and coming up with something creative can learn it within four or five days. For many of the deprived children who will be apprentices on the project, it could be an opportunity to make some money. We are going to make them at school with the kids, with the children. Then we make our own, we pack. When you get the problem, you come and then you pick. Because they will get to know how to make them and they will be using them at school. Mass production of the parts will start at Missing the Church of Uganda Primary School in Seta and Kabimbiri Primary School, all in Mokono district. The project may then later be rolled out to the rest of the country. The residues from making the sanitary pads, we've taught them to use the that's such residue to make briquettes. But if the schools decide to use the machine, which is faster, they will have to look for alternative sources of money to maintain the machines, valued at 12 million shillings each. To the trainees, especially the teachers, the need for such a product is something they are well aware of. If it takes off, the project could join a list of other products in the market, but with a comparative advantage of using banana stems as the raw material, which are readily available in most parts of the country. Moses Sakena, NTV Nature Files.